The speed of a sound wave in air depends on the air temperature. Neat. The formula above shows the relationship between A, which is the speed of the sound wave, so A is speed, uh, and T, the air temperature, so T is temperature. At which of the following air temperatures will the speed of the sound wave be closest to 1,000 feet per second? All right, so essentially what I'm doing is I need to find a T uh, that if I were to plug in 1,000 for A, uh, it, it works out. Two ways that I could do this. I could plug all four of these in, but this problem falls in the no calculator section of the SAT uh, practice exam problem. So I'm not gonna go crazy plugging all of these in because the last thing I really wanna do is try to find out what 46 times 1.08 is and then try it again, then try it again, then try it again. So I'm going to replace A with 1000 and solve for T knowing very well that it's just probably going to involve long division and some not fun, um, you know, math stuff going on. So I'm going to rewrite this guy, but instead of A, I'm going to have 1000. That's going to equal 1052 plus 1.08 T. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 1,052 from both sides, minus 1,052 from both sides. Goodbye. That gives me negative 52 equals 1.08t. Now I divide both sides by 1.08, and that's going to require a little bit of long division. All right? So let me write that out here. I have 1.08. I know it's negative, so I'm not going to put negative. I'm going to put 52.00, and maybe that double O is too much. Probably only needed one O, but that's all right. I like secret agents. Double O it is. Uh, how many times does 1.08 go into 52? Um, I would say, let me try this 48. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I'm, I have a hunch. I did do this ahead of time, I promise. I'm going to try the 48, see what happens. All right. All right. So now what I have to do is multiply 48 to 1.08. So that's going to 48 times away. That's going to be 51.84. Gross. But what I did here is I found out that that's actually what I want. So that's going to end up being. 0.16. So 48.16, uh, 48 is definitely the closest. So if it was like 0.5 something, then I would go with the 49, uh, but it ain't. So it's negative 48. That's the guy I want. That worked out quite nicely. Oh, hooray.